So here's a story from A to Z. You want to get with me? You got to listen carefully. We got Dogen. Hey. Hey guys, welcome back to another Toka Creative Play video. Right now we are accompanied by Shiori, John, Hello. and Ian, all Toka Creative staff. Today's video is a little bit different. We're here in Oita Prefecture in Beppu City. We are going to do the Jikoku Meguri. Literally stands for Hell Tour. <laughs> We're, there's actually seven onsens of he uh, Hell here in Beppu City. We are going to try to find five interesting facts and challenge the Tokyo Creative Influencer Team, which we are going to introduce to you guys right now. Hey guys, we're the Tokyo Creative Creator Team. We've got Chris from abroad in Japan. We've got Dogen. Hello. I'm Charla, hello. And we have a special guest on our team. Please introduce yourself. I'm Yuko. I'm a tourism director. We have a, a special tool at our side. So we're, we're going to be finding five facts about the area and we're going to quiz the Tokyo Creative staff team we have a special Oita professional on our team, so I think we're going to win. I think we're going to win. Let's go do this. So now we are Umi Jigoku, which means that sea, ocean, hill. Can, can you see over there? So blue and nice, but the tem temperature, the degree is actually 98. It's quite, it's super hot. It's boiling water. And this apparently, apparently the one of the mountain explored and this Jigoku hell became. But we just started from here, the both team, us and the Tokyo Creative Influencer team. So we cannot make any questions from here. So let's go next. Okay guys, we've come to our first stop. We're gonna go to Oniyama Jigoku because there are crocodiles on the pamphlet and I'm intrigued. We're all very intrigued to see what's inside this onsen. So here we go. So this is Oniyama Jigoku. The force of the steam here apparently is so strong it can pull one and a half train cars. Also, it's the perfect ideal climate for breeding crocodiles. <laughs> and that's what it says on the side. I'm, I'm saying that like it's some sort of common knowledge, but it's just a weird sign. <laughs> Either steam trains or crocodiles, the possibilities are limitless really. Um, I don't, I don't know why, because if you look at this, look how hot it is. Nothing about this water and the steam coming off it says the perfect climate for breeding crocodiles. <laughs> if you're a crocodile in there, you'd be bored alive in about four seconds. This is like that scene from Jurassic Park when they put the cow down. It's like, oh my God, it yeah, the same like style cage. <laughs> and then the cow comes out and there is no cow. It's been eaten by dinosaurs, isn't it? We should, we, should, um, we should get a chain and dangle Chris Okono in. Yeah. And then pull him out, see what's left. Good B-roll. Maybe the crocodiles probably leave. So we've worked out that the crocodiles pile themselves up here because the sun, the angle of the sun hits perfectly in this spot. We think that's what it is anyways. So you can either put some solar panels there and generate electricity or you can breed crocodiles. 48 crocodiles in this single cage. 48 crocodiles? Yeah. Fun fact. 48. 48 is twice the number of 24. <laughs> Don't rub it in. <laughs> My money's on Chris Okado not knowing the answer. <laughs> oh. Oh. Feels a bit like a Mexican standoff. It's kind of just glaring at me. As if it wants to eat me. Eat my face. But you can't. Because there's a cage. One nil to Chris Broad. <laughs> you can use one of these for our... I think. How many eyes does it have? Two eyes. Three <laughs> eyes do they have? Oh my god. The ma eyes are high. Mabuta. Eyelids. Oh uh, yeah. I was thinking what you said is one of the eyes. Yeah, two eyelids. <laughs> <laughs> we should we should ask um, how many trains they think can be pulled by the steam. That's a good fact. How many trains they think? Yeah, how many train cars like by all the steam yeah. in like one day worth of steam or something or like yeah because it was on that that's not yeah right. oh oh ask them yeah good idea okay let's True. do that 1.5 to show 1.5 yeah. okay all right guys so currently we are heading to the next uh, onsen hell area shorty over here is going to be our guide because she's the nihonjin <laughs> but it's first time for me here first time so. it's actually my third time but we're gonna I'm rely on you are more expert then. no we're gonna rely on shorty <laughs> okay i'll try yeah Ian's going to take a back seat since he's been guiding the whole journey across Japan tour. <laughs> At this point, I'm, I'm, I'm running off Red Bull and coffee. <laughs> <laughs> else. 
And then John over here is going to be shooting a lot of the nice shots that hopefully we're going to get okay. with his uh, nice Sony over there. Hopefully we're going to get better shots and get better facts than the Tokyo Creative YouTube team. We can't lose to the, our own influencer team, right? No, especially given we're a uh, travel company, we can't let ourselves down. All right, so we just made it to Kamado Jikoku. Kamado means... Kitchen. Kitchen. <laughs> kitchen where? <laughs> so, kitchen ranch. The, the place to cook. Oh, the place to cook. Mm. So I believe this one has some food. Oh, I think so too. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Maybe the, the place to cook something, you know, with this uh, hot, hot I thing. think there is onsen tamago here. Oh, is it? Mm, forget. Let's but, see. Yeah, we're going to see. <laughs> <laughs> we have to find some facts though, actually. It's your job, come on, find some facts it, in Japanese. It, it sounds so stupid. <laughs> okay, okay, let's go. <laughs> so actually, we got this um, seven hell day pass, which is 2,000 yen, $20. If you, go to, if you want to go to five out of the seven, you might as well just get the day pass, which we highly recommend since you're going to be in the area anyway, you might as well go to all seven. So we've walked uh, 100 or 200 meters down the road to uh, Kamado Jigoku, uh, otherwise known as Cooking Pot Hell. And um, yeah, there's a uh, famous myth where steamed rice was cooked at about 90 degrees Celsius. The other guys uh, from the influencer team, they've been on a long trip. We think they're gonna go for some low hanging fruit with, their, with that answer. But this place is also known for the uh, Kamado Hachimangu Shrine Festival. So uh, we're gonna try and, uh, try and stump them with that one. So I, they may have the Oita Tourism Board member on their team, but the reason I'm still confident, we got our own little secret weapon at TC. There he is. Those of you keeping track of the uh, Journey Across Japan series might recognize the real star of the show here. It's the Anpan Man. Uh, and actually, if you follow him on TC Anpan Man on Instagram, you'll know that every day we're giving away a postcard from somewhere where we've been. Today's postcard is the shrine behind, oh, not shrine, sorry, the uh, hot spring behind us, uh, which we're going to explore in a second. When this video goes live, um, we'll be giving this postcard away at the same time, so be sure to check out TC Ampan Man on Instagram, and uh, this could be yours. So we hit up a native kind of information board here at the Kamado Jikoku. Honestly, I have no idea what they're talking about. It's English, but I have no idea what they're talking about. However, we're just going to record this part, this section, just so we have it on record. So they do ask us, we can just whip out our camera and just take a quick look about um, kind of the detailed information that they're writing here. Shorty, what are you doing? No, we have to find five facts! <laughs> Alright, so we just got the, uh, look like a hell Jikoku soft cream. It's got red pepper on vanilla ice cream. We're trying to find facts, but we end up with ice cream. <laughs> Oh, that's actually really good. Sorry, what? Want to try? I feel spicy actually. Oishi. Oh, oh. I think it's powder, right? That's why when you eat, you don't feel so spicy. But when you swallow, it dies. Look what I got. Do you new milk? <laughs> this guy's a milk man. No, because after the onsen, you're always supposed to get these bottled, glass bottled drinks. Yeah. Typically milk. But we're not in the onsen. Uh. But we're next to the onsen. So it uh, counts. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Kalakore. Shorty's just asked the lovely ladies in the, uh, in the shop over there how long it takes them to cook uh, an onsen tamago. And actually, it takes an entire day, which uh, astonished everyone in our team because normally you boil an egg for a minute or two. Uh, but right here, it takes an entire day to produce, mm. so uh, that should be a good question. Yeah, it's more like a, more than a day, right? More than a day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ooh. Like,ここと、ここと、ここと海が一番なんか有名。一番有名です。ピラピラニア。um, the fish that eats people. Oh, so it's like an aquarium. Inayo, ah, ita, are? This pipe 
is maintain the temperature of the that water. So the onsen mm. water, the hot yeah. onsen water is running yeah, through yeah. it. The hot onsen water is running through these pipes here to maintain the temperature of the fish's aquarium. Interesting. Oh, ita! Kore da! Kore da! Like, eta toki mitai na. Nani taberu no kana? Ah, eta wa ushi, uma, kingyo, dojo. Okay, I've got an idea for another question that we can quiz the Tokyo Creative staff team on. I think I'm going to use like, what are they feeding the piranhas at this onsen? So, horse, cow, goldfish, and dojo. I don't know how to say that in English, but we'll we'll make a question out of that. That's a good one, I think. <laughs> so, uh, as soon as you walk into this place. There's a fact in English right, uh, right there, it's hard to miss. So depending on how much effort the, YouTube, effort the YouTubers are putting in, they might just choose this question straight away. So I'm getting a photo of it. How many train, half train cars can be pulled by the steam here? The pressure from the steam. So uh, yeah, we know, one and a half. So it's not for a quick uh, lunch. I say lunch, we all just got desserts. This is a, like a cream pudding in a, in a bread. It's an elegant way of putting it. What do you call it? Cream caramel. Creme caramel? Point is, it's not healthy. At all. It's okay, it's very cold. It's hurting my mouth. It's falling apart everywhere. What was this called? Ichigo <laughs> Daifuku. So I'm I'm vegan now, so I can't have too many things. Apparently this is this is vegan, yeah, so. It should be. Good to go. Ninki number one, Ninki number one. This is the most popular pudding. Oh, it's, it's not so much sweet, so I like it, I like it. Mm. So I got the mango, mango bubble tea, I guess it is really. It's mango juice with chia seeds, tapioca, and nata de coco. Very sweet, very, very sweet. You got the same one, right? Yeah. It's a little too sweet. Vegan? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Yep. What's, it, what's it made of? A tapioca. It's a thing. Oh, it's just okay. called tapioca. <laughs> don't know Showing how. My else, lack of knowledge. Don't know how else to explain it. But yeah, it is vegan. I like all the things you in it um, more than I like the juice pieces? itself. <laughs> I love the texture of chia seeds and tapioca and nata de coco. So this is a fun drink. It's got a little bit of everything. Okay, so we start by, I had to get another ice cream because the other one was really spicy. So this one's gold um, on vanilla soft cream. Who's that? I think I hear Chris Broad. Let's go. Right there. Right there. <laughs> 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 we got juice, but it's way too sweet. Way too sweet. How many guys have you been to yet so far? Yeah. Did, you, did you guys stop by the Yanni one? Yes, it's uh, awesome. We're going to the Chi one next. Oh yeah, awesome. we're going right now. We're going to get there before you. Let's go. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. 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 Yeah. bye. Later. So if you guys want to go to the really red onsen, Chi no Hike. Blood, blood onsen, right? Blood onsen, you should probably take a taxi uh, or you could just drive there. Because it's around uh, three kilometers, five minutes by car. Walking there might take a little while. Uh, so right now we're in the taxi, heading to the blood onsen. Okay, we just hopped into the taxi. We've got 45 minutes left. We've got a couple more onsen we want to cover, but we might only have time for one more. So we're going to head to Chinoike Jigoku, which is the blood lake. It looks really cool. We're going to try and find two more facts to quiz the staff team on. I predict someone's going to spot Chris here and this is... stop him. <laughs> yeah? You have a feeling? I have a feeling about this one. Yeah. What? It's just a hunch. Oh no, they're over there. Shit, we're in the same spot as them. <laughs> no. We tried not to go to the same place as them, but they just seem to keep copying us. He acts like he's popular with girls, but he's not really. Oh, hi, Chris. We just talked about you. <laughs> Shorty, what's this place about? This place is called, do you know? What do you call this place? Uh, blood onsen. Yes, that's correct. Because it looks red. Okay, and then what about the military stuff? Okay, I'll tell you. So here, they are selling this kind of things. 
<laughs> this, this is the very very useful cream. Can you see Ian? <laughs> Sorry. I, I'm holding up for the I'm stopping. There, okay. there we go. This is the cream. Can use for skin for any skin problem like uh, if you not the injury, not you know, scar, scar. Oh, so it heals scars. So if you have scar, and if you apply this cream, it will heal faster. Okay, we could do that. We could do that question, huh? What does this cream heal? Does it kill scars, <laughs> bruises, broken bones, <laughs> and the pimples? Or pimple. And uh, but I think Shara knows this, Janai. No, Shala <laughs> Wakara Naikitomoimasu. I've officially hijacked Shala's uh, camera thing, so it's my game, my rules now. New towel. If you put these into hot water, the lady will be naked. You want one? I want one. That's awesome. You want to be naked? My grandpa would love that. A, la a naked lady. A naked lady towel. This vlog is no longer safe for YouTube. <laughs> I recommend that one. Only no fun. <laughs> On a scale of one to stylish pants. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> no faces on my genitals, please. You wanna buy it? Uh if I if I were mom, I use i use this one. <laughs> Why wouldn't you? Look at his face. Look at his face. Look at his face. Welcome to Beth. This is this is where I live. <laughs> this is uh the uh, the blood pond. So this is all red. I don't know if someone already told you this, but this is all red because there's iron, iron oxide in the mud here. So. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, good thing you didn't quit us on that. We're gonna so write that down. I bought some of this, and you can add this to your um, your bath at home and get a taste of the uh, Beppu Onsen right at home. It's cool because in Beppu there's oh, actually you just cut your finger and uh, put that in the bath. <laughs> Wait, is this is this it's got the same? Like minerals and stuff. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. That this has. And then you can put this in your in a bathtub, and you get yep. the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's I'm gonna buy that. Go there's so it. many um, onsen like uh, sources in Beppu that a lot of the homes in Beppu and the condos in Beppu they have two faucets for their baths, one for normal water and one for onsen. So a lot of people just have onsen in their houses. Okay, cool. We're gonna beat you and think of more interesting <laughs> facts than that. Oh, I, I told you all that. So you can't you can't quiz me on that. Yeah. No, but now we know you can't quiz us on that because we know the answer now. Hoo -hoo -hoo. Okay. But I want to buy this actually. This bottle. Yeah, it's right over there. Oh, it's right there. Oh. Okay. So I'm mm. gonna buy one of these. Ah, see my Thank you. Have your Wow, that's expensive. It's twenty dollars. The taxi took us to the wrong spot, so now we're walking like fifteen minutes to get to the right spot. But we do not have time. By the time we get there, time is going to be up. <laughs> We're going to have to hurry. God damn it. One hike down a mountain later and we've made it to <laughs> Bozu Jigoku. The last stop of the day. We're going to find one more fact quiz the team with. So this one looks like it has a mud theme. Ooh, it's like bubbling mud. This is cool. Okay, so for our for our last fact, we're gonna try and figure out why this place is called Bozu Jigoku, Monk, Monk Hell, <laughs> Monk, then it Bozu. Okay. In Kamado Jigoku, literally cooking pot hell, you can buy a number of foods that have been cooked using the onsen steam. The question is, number one, how long are the eggs, eggs steamed for before they're ready to be served? A, one minute, B, one hour, C, one day. Oh, one minute. One hour, isn't it? I would say one hour. One hour. One hour, one hour. final answer. One hour. Final answer? <laughs> yeah. yeah. One day. Bollocks! Jesus! You probably overcooked. Yeah, they, like, oh, they taste sufficient. like rubbish. They can't taste good there. Steamed though, I guess. It's just feel like that was left out of the question. Yeah. Question number two. Per second, how many pet bottles worth of water are naturally pumped from the underground into Beppu's hot springs? Mm -hmm. Bottles per Total second? Per second. Of, of all of Beppu's mm -hmm. hot springs. A. 260, B, 2,600, C, 26,000. C. C. I think it is C. Yeah, C. 
26,000. Wait, 000. it's per second. It's per second. Per the second. Per second, yeah. Three. Mm. Two. I'm this one up to Joe again. I'm going to tr- go see. See. Final answer. It's not. It's 2,000. Yeah, yeah. Mind yeah. you, it was yeah. B. I was leaning towards <laughs> oh. B. Sorry, guys. <laughs> you okay. live in Beppu. You should know this, don't you? <laughs> Get some pet bottles, do your research. <laughs> um, question number three. Which of the hot springs here has the hottest water? A. Blood Pond Hell. B. Tornado Hell. Or C. Mountain Hell. The pro, the Oita pro says B. <laughs> B final answer. Tornado, tornado Hell. Tornado. It's your secret weapon. That is correct. Yay! Yay! For a bonus point, how hot does it get? 115. Did I say bonus point? I meant <laughs> for, a, for a round of applause. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Bonus point. Well, we got two bonus points. Point. <laughs> bonus point. <laughs> bonus point. <laughs> bonus point. <laughs> bonus point. <laughs> That'll teach you to be cocky, won't it? <laughs> Question number four. Chino Ike. Mm. Oh. <laughs> 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 Unbridled <laughs> violence <laughs> is the way of Chico Creator. Chino Ike, <laughs> this product here, yeah. uh, is made from the mud of the blood on hot spring. But what ailment does it treat? I know this one. A. Fever. One. No. B. Coughing. No. C. Skin irritation. Yes, C. File answer. C. Yeah, throw it back at me. So is that two out of four? Three out of four. Three. Three. No, you got the bonus point. We got a bonus point. Jake is a bonus point. What are you doing here? Yeah. Yeah. Three out of four. No bonus point for you. We won't make that mistake. Yeah. <laughs> we get a chance to get a bonus point. No. Okay. Out of the ten types of onsen water that exist, how many can be found in Bethel? Oh shit, I didn't even know there were different types. A. Five. B. Seven. C. Nine. Nine. C. Final answer. I think it's C, yeah. C. Onsen Pro is wrong. Oh! <laughs> it's B7, seven. according to the nice taxi driver that took us that one to this one. Totally wrong. He's totally wrong. No, she is totally right. What? It's her job. He's a taxi driver. Our taxi driver took us to the wrong place. Oh, yeah. So I don't have much faith in the taxi drivers of Bethany. Four to five. No, seven. Parent oh, seven. seven. Number one. How many train cars can be pulled using the strength of the steam at Wani Jigoku? Oh, now, we thought you might ask this. Yeah, we actually we actually had a clip of this yeah, behind the scenes. Yeah, yeah, so you know it. But I forgot the answer. <laughs> no, I think I think it's... Uh, well, think we, it's, we got options. Do you want to okay, hear options. that? Options. You want to hear the options? Are you going to be all cocky? No, 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 give me all options. Okay, A, 1.5. B, 1.5. C, 1.5. D, 1.5. Final answer. Final answer. You are right. Yay! One point. Yes. Point. Number two. Bastards. Total of how many eyelids does one crocodile have? A, Ooh. two. B, four. C, six. Now this one, we didn't actually go into this, so we don't know. Yeah, I mean, uh, two, four, six, what is it? Let's go in the middle of the road. I'm not, I, think, I think you said there's a lot. Uh, so those 80 crocodiles in the whole structure that we it's, we, it's, it's we not, actually asked them. It's not how and many. How many sh- <laughs> just let him keep talking. No, 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 no I'm just saying. Eyelids? <laughs> They're, they're saying how many eyelids? Eyelids. <laughs> eyelids. Eyelids. <laughs> it's not how many eyelids, 80 crocodiles. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> eyelids? Yeah. Do crocodiles, do crocodiles have? Do you, you want to hear uh, the question again? Yes, yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> A total of how many eyelids does one crocodile have? Um, four. Four. Five. Yeah, four. You are right. Oh. Yeah. It's Did you know that? Cool. I what? Hmm, I didn't know that. Number three. What do they feed the piranhas at Shiraike Jigoku? Oh, yeah. That's why we didn't go to them. Mice and cow? I can't eat. Guys, if you have to talk louder, there's no way you're going to hear this when it comes out. B. Cow, horse, and fish. Or C. Cow and horse. Cow, horse, and fish. Mice and cow. Mice and cow. Cow, horse, and fish, or oh, cow and horse? I don't think they'd feed fish on the fish. Seems wrong. wrong. <laughs> I reckon mice and cow. Mice yeah, and cow, I, I agree. Is that eight? Was that eight? Yeah. Eight. Mice and cow? Final yeah. yeah. You are wrong, they do feed them fish. Oh. It was beef. 
<laughs> so we're two out of three. <clears throat> Number so four. Three. What makes Blood Lake red? A. Do you guys know? Do you know this one? No. A. Volcanic activity underneath the lake. B. High iron and magnesium oxide content. C. A chemical reaction. No, this oh, one. No, 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 no. This one. I think it's. I think that is. Yeah. I think I think Dogen told us this. <laughs> Jesus, Dogen. I think it's B. B. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Dogen. Thank you. Who oh, knows? Go down, Dogen. They're at a four. They're at a four. And your last, your last chance at beating us. Because wait, how many points did we get? Two. Three. We got three. So we're th we got tied three. right now. We're at three and three, yeah. it's, and it's the last question. So if you guys get this right, you win. Why is Bozu no Jigoku called that? Where did it get the name from? Uh, a, it was founded by a famous monk. B, a statue of a famous monk can be found in the area. Or C, the mud looks like the shape of a monk. I know, C, C. C, final answer. answer. Yes. <laughs> Shan. Shan. You had an extra person on your team. What a load of bollocks. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys learned something here about uh, Beppu City here in Oita Prefecture. Uh, please check out our TC wear over here. <laughs> All of us, we're wearing it because we're top creative staff. <laughs> I hope you guys followed the Junior Cross Japan uh, tour that Mr. Broad was here doing every single day, uploading videos almost every single day. Uh, <laughs> please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Please check out all of their channels. And we'll see you guys in the next TC Play video. Yeah. Bye! Bye! Bye.